going on everybody well I'm here today to introduce y'all to the newest member of the pit clan picked up a four-wheel steer capper at the great lakes gauntlet last weekend been wanting one of these for a couple years now uh, the stars finally aligned and i picked one up um my intention was to do a first run with it bone stock, but one, I couldn't help myself, and two, there's already so many videos out there of people doing their first run straight out of the box. So I went ahead and switched up a couple things um, just for my first run, and tomorrow I've got a few more things coming that'll uh, up its game even more so the first thing I did was I removed the uh, spring cups off the bottom of the shocks uh, just to get the whole thing lowered uh, it brings it down about half an inch um, that tiny little thing there helps out tremendously um, i yeah, as far as free mods go, that's A1 stuff right there. Um, I also have uh, my old Hyrax and uh, metal bead locks on here at the moment. Honestly, don't even remember what foams are in these tires. Uh, the front is a little bit firmer than the rear. I believe there's a dual stage some sort in the front and a single stage in the rear uh, I very much doubt these will be on here very long but they're better than stock so that's what we got um, I went ahead and got some uh, outer portal covers add a little bit of weight up front um, I've got a little bit more weight coming Hopefully it'll be here tomorrow as well. It still has the stock motor, but I did go ahead and throw the ESC 90 out of my Wraith on it. Um, just so I could hopefully have a little bit more low end control than the factory system. And I also went ahead and threw my FlySky uh, receiver in there so that I could run four-wheel steer on a knob instead of a button so on the uh, factory transmitter they've got a they've got a button here that's uh, basically a five position where you can turn either direction uh, 50 or 100 percent and then back to neutral um, but i drive I guess backwards from how most people drive uh, I hold my remote in my right hand when I'm driving um, it's just easier for me to drive you know throttle and then hit the uh, steering wheel and everything while I'm recording the video um, but that presents a problem here because I've got my rear whoa hitting buttons here I've got my rear steer on the channel six dial here, um, which I have to operate with my left hand while I'm driving with my right. So operating four wheel steer and recording video um, is not going to be the easiest thing. So uh, until I get some sort of a system or a mount figured out, I'm going to be running this off of a tripod today just a little cheap short tripod um, I th think that's all I've done so far um, I've got a new motor ESC um, a little bit more brass potentially servos on the way and I've got another set of wheels and tires that will be going on it. I've just got to do some swapping around with other vehicles. But today, we're going to give this thing a whirl. Um, 
I did drive it a little bit last night, but uh, I've never had a four wheel steer vehicle before. So uh, I am learning. So if I'm a little clunky, uh, that's just my learning curve. But we're gonna give this a shot. There's a few things I don't imagine it's going to be able to do, but there's other things that this should be able to do that nothing else can. And uh, just to prove some points, I brought the King with me. Also got to do a shakedown run on that uh, since I basically just rebuilt the whole front axle. So, should be an interesting video. I'm not sure if I'll do both in one video or if i'll make a video for each of them we'll just see how the day goes there's lots of bugs so i guess it just depends on uh, how long i can put up with the bugs and for anybody who has told me before i'm covered and they're still eating me alive so We'll see how this goes. So before I get started here, I just want to say since I've got a tripod set up and it's going to be further away from me, um, I'm not going to be doing much talking while I'm driving. So I'll either have to stop and pick up the camera and make some comments or uh, we'll just do the subtitle thing. Just a little heads up. Here we go. So just to show the uh, turning radius of this thing, I wanted to kind of show you what we're working with here. This little uh, cut out in the rocks, you can see it's less than two vehicle widths wide. Um, so when I come up here and do a U-turn inside the confines of these uh, outline of these rocks right here, Hopefully that'll give you a pretty good idea on uh, how sharp of a turning radius this thing really has. Definitely the best turning radius I've ever had.
Okay, we were experiencing some technological differences here. Um, apparently, one of my batteries is going bad. I had just charged it before we came up here, and uh, the reason it kept cutting out and rolling backwards, uh, it was, I got on the ESC app and it said it was hitting uh, low voltage cutoff. So, uh, yeah, I need to get some new batteries, but I threw the battery out of the Ecto in here. I feel like we were making pretty good ground on uh, this line right here, which was completely blowing my mind. So it was a bummer when that thing started cutting out. So we're going to give this another shot and uh, see if I can make something happen here. So close. My tires are covered in my back tires are covered in mud now when I made it up to that ledge before the battery cut out I was standing at a completely different angle I'm not a hundred percent sure where exactly my tires were Almost had it right there.
Okay. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's so close. Yes! Day two, four wheel steer Capra. Stock springs, stock axles, stock servo, stock motor. Just conquered hard line. There are no words for how pumped I am right now. I cannot wait until I get this thing modified and tweaked and tuned. Oh my goodness. I am pumped. This thing is a freaking animal. What a beast. Just making everything look so easy. Okay, I'm gonna try to hold the camera uh, while I do this one just because uh, there's no good way to set up a tripod and climb the uh, spiral staircase at the same time and get a good angle of it. Oh, I picked up a tail. This is almost like cheating. This is freaking sweet. Ooh. The cows broke this even more. This is now going to be a challenge to get across it. These two boards are busted on this side, so if I come too far this way, it's just going to tip right on over. And then that next board's busted on the other end. Okay. I need to stay as far to the left as possible. Get the rear end to stay. 
stay over there. Come back. Got it. Oh, this is so much more tricky driving four wheel steer and recording at the same time. Okay, it's looking like we're about to get some rain. So I think I'm gonna call that for the uh, four wheel steer Capra. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just get the Ecto out and we'll make this one video. Um, I'll just do the same lines that I just did and uh, see how it does. But this thing right here, two fat thumbs up. This thing is freaking amazing. I can't even begin to guess how much better it's going to get because it's still fairly stock. And uh, the fact that it made hard line and on these tires, the Ecto couldn't make hard line on these tires. And this thing just did. Uh, granted, it had to fight for it up at the top. But I think that uh, a good bit of that was the tires and also um, my weight distribution and suspension setup. Uh, this thing likes to unload on vertical climbs. Um, so once I get that figured out, uh, this thing's gonna be an absolute monster. I, I don't even have words for how excited I am about this rig now. That is freaking sweet. So I swap a battery out and uh, we'll see what the king's got with the new front end. Okay, just a little refresher in case you missed the last video at uh, the Great Lakes Gauntlet. I had ripped out the uh, kingpin mount on this uh, side of the axle, um, like ripped it out, broke it, stripped it out, um, it was done for, that C-hub was shot. So I got um, aluminum C-hubs, uh, brass steering knuckles, and a brass diff cover. Uh, I figured if it's broken, I may as well give it a few upgrades because uh, until now, it's been uh, completely stock so far as the axles go. So this is the first uh, run period since I got, uh, well, since I got it fixed and since I got some brass and whatnot on it. So we'll see how it does and since this is uh, not four-wheel steer um, we can probably get through this a little quicker uh, I've just got my normal recording situation here so we should be able to run right next with the uh, right next to it the whole time so I'll try to keep a similar line as what I did with the uh, four-wheel steer Capra just to kind of get a comparison since the Ecto has been the uh, proven king of the pit ever since I got it pretty much um, even though it is a straight axle and has absolutely the lowest ground clearance out of all the rigs that I have I would do a uh, comparison on turn radius, but this thing doesn't even stand a chance. I'd have to do like a six point turn. So we're just gonna skip that part.
that right there is your turning radius comparison. While it doesn't have the turning radius or the ground clearance, it's definitely got a lot more traction. These Pro Line crawlers are definitely my favorite. couple times I was up here the uh, edge of that piece of wood right there gets hung up on my rear axle uh, since I've got a lot wider wheelbase on it than what I used to have uh, still haven't found the smoothest line up through here yet without having to go out and around that piece of wood and kind of back up and get back over to the left again. And I think that that rock that just rolled down was uh, what I usually use to get back up on. Getting off the, uh, the line really threw off my whole mojo there. getting your tires muddy before you even get up there. Okay. Take a quick breather here and swat away all the bugs before I get started again. Okay. Let's see what we can do here.
what's going on here? We don't usually have this much trouble. slid off on the other side. I'm starting to think I might have hurt the Ecto's feelings talking so good about uh, that Capra. This is embarrassing. The truck that I uh, didn't think stood a chance just made the climb and the one that I thought was a no-brainer isn't gonna make it. That's that. So, I'm not sure what to think here. Um, either adding all that weight up front, that doesn't make sense. That should help out in every aspect. Um, it's not like I've got a ridiculous amount of weight on there. The C hubs are aluminum. Um, it did rain yesterday and today. Uh, you can see all the green on the concrete. So, I mean, it is slick. And after running the capper up here, and you can see all the mud on everything. Uh, so, yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I'm just... Uh, trying to figure out what's going on here so I guess I'm making an excuse for the ecto today because that's not not normal for it um, it usually climbs up that no problem with these tires on it so yeah uh, we'll give this thing a gimme on that one and uh, pretend that never happened Um, uh, maybe I did hurt its feelings. I don't know. Uh, I did talk an awful lot of crap about it over at the gauntlet when it broke on me. 
and then I bought a new rig over there and brought it home and just gave it all kinds of praises. So maybe uh, maybe I hurt its feelings a little bit. Oh yeah, it's still got it. I think it's just having an off day with the uh, the, mo the wet mossy concrete in the mud. Um, I've still got a fast eddy bearing kit that I need to put in this thing. We'll give it a good complete overhaul and uh, come back on a drier day and see how it does. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, run the rest of the, what I ran with the capra and see what happens here. See how it does on the uh, staircase here. Adjust the camera here a little bit. Get a little more personal with it. <clears throat> so this thing, uh, I never had any issues making it to the top with this, but um, I'd say about half the time I'd have to uh, stop and back up and get a better turning angle on it. Um, Normally, I, unless I get hung up like this, I climb this whole staircase at full lock on the steering. Uh, so, even with the overdrive, it's a pretty tight uh, spiral, even for this thing. Let's see if we can maneuver across this broken thing here. Oh, yeah. That's good enough. I'm about tired of getting eaten up by the bugs. Uh, Ecto just didn't have the greatest day, but you can see its tires are all caked in mud. So we'll give it the benefit of the doubt and uh, we'll bring them both back out on a drier day. And uh, I think that and don't tell the Ecto this, but I think we're going to have another challenger for the king of the pit. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, I've got this weekend and this coming week to get prepared um, for the next event. Uh, we're going to be going down to uh, Rocktober, down at the Beat the Creek location. Um, so that ought to be a good time. Um, I've got quite a bit of stuff to get done before then. So we'll see how the weather goes this weekend. I may try to get these both back out and, uh, see what I can do with them. I need to start, uh, 
reorganizing some concrete um, and fixing some things. I need to build me some uh, more challenging lines because right now hard lines pretty much the only real test that I got for anything around here and uh, it's not really technical it's just difficult so may see if we can pump out another video or two this weekend so anyways thank you all for watching i uh, hope you enjoyed and stay tuned we're up in our game around here all the way around have a good one and uh, we'll catch you all in the next one later